have we time traveled back to 2013? Because we're on YouTube and I'm doing a q and I feel like one day I blinked and all of a sudden people are taking me somewhat seriously on YouTube. Kind of. I don't know how that happened. So I thought I would do this so you guys can kind of get to know me. I had you guys ask me some questions on my Instagram story. So let's dive into those right now. Okay. Yes, I actually wear glasses, but I don't need them for this. All right, the first one is, how old are you? You look 16, but sound like you're 30. We're starting off strong, I see. I'm the age of a Fall Out Boy song. So at least I'm somewhere in between that range. I'm still not sure if I should take that as a compliment or if I should be offended. Moving on. You've said you love your mom's cooking. What is a favorite she makes you? Yes, and I know I'm not biased when I say that my mom has some of the best cooking because she's been told that by so many others. So I like to brag on her part. Anyways, oh my gosh, there's so many good things. She makes these cabbage burgers, or I guess some people call them runzas. They're ground beef and cabbage stuffed into like a really nice warm homemade bread roll. Those are amazing. She also makes spectacular enchiladas, especially white chicken enchiladas. Oh, and her Italian stuffing, the only stuffing I'll eat. It tastes like a pizza in a way because it's got spicy Italian sausage, black olives, onions, even Parmesan cheese. And she bakes it until it's nice and crispy and not soggy at all. It is a work of art. I love her sloppy joes. She's just great at throwing ingredients and spices into something to make a delicious meal. I could go on and on, but we'll just go to the next question. What does your tattoo say on your arm? Well, which one? I'm guessing maybe this one, but this is also my wrist, so. Well, anyways, this one says, if I can live through this, I can do anything. That is a Fall Out Boy lyric. I got it when my mental health was not doing so hot. And you know, it's kind of a nice sentiment. Um, and then this one says, always keep fighting, which is a reference to a campaign, I guess, by the supernatural actor, Jared Padalecki. I was a huge Supernatural fan back in the day. I had a full-sized Castiel cutout. I frequented Hot Topic for all their merch. Yeah. So hopefully that was one of the tattoos you were referencing. Okay, what's your favorite part of living in Colorado and what's your favorite part of Utah? Okay, so I had lived in Colorado for my entire life and I really do like a lot about it still. I really liked how close I lived to the Rocky Mountains. One way you can tell I'm from Colorado is I say mountain, not mountain, sorry. I really like how you can go from like the mountains into like Denver, which is a big city. So you kind of get like the best of both worlds. I like the people there since I'm from around Boulder. It's conveniently located to a lot of different states. But the problem is, is that it's gotten incredibly busy it's just so miserable to try to do anything. There is no off season. It's just so crowded. And a lot of these spaces were never meant for a lot of people anyways. If you've ever driven I-25 or I-70, even on a normal day, it's a complete nightmare. And during a busy holiday weekend, don't even talk about it. So I say all of that because Utah is very much like Colorado. It's just far less busy. It reminds me of the Colorado I kind of grew up in, if that makes sense. Even my mom thinks that as someone who's lived in Colorado since she was like six. And we moved to a part of Utah that doesn't snow. I was so sick of cold weather and snow. So that is a huge plus too. They've also got some pretty good desserts here. Okay, next up, what was your dream job growing up? I wanted to be a museum curator. No joke, being able to work at like the Smithsonian American History Museum was my dream. I just loved history as a kid. I was much more of like a history and English person rather than like math and science. And I still do love history now, but it's more like all of history and just learning in general. But yeah, back then being able to be surrounded by history and kind of being able to take care of it, that that sounded like the coolest thing ever. I did volunteer at my city's local museum for like a couple months and I quickly learned that that scene was not for me. It was solitude work, which I don't mind at all. I prefer that, but it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be, which I feel like is true for a lot of things you think you wanna be when you're a kid. Okay, next is what's your least favorite food? Celery. There's not a lot of foods I will completely avoid or bash because I do like to try a lot of things and your palate does change. So you never know what you might like now that you didn't like before, or it's always good to try foods prepared in different ways, but no matter how you literally slice it or dice it, I cannot stand celery. If it's cooked or if it's finely chopped in something like chicken salad, I'm not just gonna pick it out. I can stand it like that. But if you were to put raw celery stalks in front of me, absolutely not. The taste and texture are just nasty to me. Ooh, our first Walmart question. If you can name three, what are other Walmart dupes you wish Walmart comes up with? Okay, Sun Chips, Apple Jacks, and Sandwich Crackers. Sun Chips, because they're actually one of my favorite chips, especially the garden salsa. Apple Jacks because that's one of my favorite cereals and they used to carry one. I don't know why they don't anymore. And sandwich crackers, you know, like the peanut butter or cheese ones that are by Austin or Ritz. I cannot believe that Walmart does not make their own. I mean, even Target makes their own, whatever. All right, next, um, do you like TikTok or Instagram more when it comes to the layout of creating content? Okay, yeah, this is a great question. I don't edit my footage in TikTok or Instagram. I do that in a separate app. But when it comes to adding text or music or anything like that, absolutely TikTok. 
TikTok. Instagram is a pain in the neck. I hardly ever edit my videos on Instagram because it's not user-friendly to me at all. But when it comes to actually enjoying content, I'm kind of 50-50 actually. But yeah, I know it might seem daunting at first, but there is a reason anyone can have a TikTok and post. It's because once you take a breath and you take a moment to just explore it, very quickly you're gonna realize how easy it is. I'm also a very organized person and I feel like TikTok lets me organize my videos a lot more than Instagram and that means a lot to me. Okay, next is dream vacation. I went to Europe on a school trip probably, oh yeah, like a decade ago. I'm getting older, it's fine. Yeah, I think I was about to be a senior in high school and it was so fantastic. It was just such an experience that I have nothing else to compare to. And my dream is to go back and bring my mom and little sister along because they've never vacationed outside the country before. I'd like us to go to like England, France, Germany, Belgium, Italy, Greece. I don't get like super, super excited about a lot of different things, but me thinking about being able to do that for them in the maybe near future gets me so excited. Okay, what's your favorite childhood memory? What was your favorite birthday and holiday? My favorite childhood memory. This sounds like such an emo sort of answer, but I don't think I have one. Like I don't have any that are jumping out. I don't know. This is not me saying I had a bad childhood. I'm just saying I cannot think of one that just what was your favorite birthday holiday? I never really had like a huge birthday party. I'm gonna say when I turned 24 because we were kind of on vacation in Arizona around my birthday and we just so happened to be driving back through Vegas on my birthday. So I kind of got to spend my birthday in Vegas. I'm not a huge drinker. I do not drink a lot of alcohol. I got like one of those Taco Bell pina coladas that spiked. That was really good. So it was mainly just checking out the food stuff, but that was really fun. And I actually just spent my previous birthday in Vegas too. And then my favorite holiday. When I got a little bit older, like in high school, School and I could drive for myself. I loved Halloween because I could go buy all the Halloween decorations I wanted to. My mom never really decorated for Halloween. So I would go buy like the scariest, creepiest stuff I could. And I'd make our front entrance way like a haunted mansion. That was really fun. Okay, any surprising food combos you've tried and liked or hated? Okay, pretzels dipped in applesauce is one of the best food combos of all time. It's perfectly sweet and salty. And then grapes and mustard, do not knock it until you try it. It kind of tastes like a Big Mac. I don't know, it's just so good. And hated? I can't really think of any. One thing I don't understand is how people put peanut butter on celery. I will say that. All right, favorite music and sports teams. Well, I've talked a lot about Fall Out Boy already, so you can probably guess that they're my favorite band. I do have three tattoos dedicated to them, so. And sports teams, I'm not super passionate about any of them. I mean, I am from Colorado, so I do like the Denver Nuggets. All right, I think that's enough questions for now to not bore you all anymore. I hope this helped you get a feel for me a little more. That sounded weird. I'm just gonna leave it in, I don't care. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you always for watching. If you're curious for more, I do post more on my Instagram story about like my life in general, kind of. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.